Good morning friends. Good morning from Riverside Camping of Jispa. Before I talk, take a look at the view around. Today our plan is to go to Gomboranjan and camp there. Uh, it should take somewhere around uh, 6 hours from this place. Look at our tent site. It is completely garbage free. We didn't leave anything that we brought. I will show this in every tent site that we camp. Just to make you aware that it is important to leave this place just the way that you found it. So we are leaving from the campsite. Engaged 4x4 four four now. It's basically a farmland by the riverside where the uh, campsite no, is <laughs> given 4x4 at Adbut Jinish Accelerator Dawa Tan Yes, yes, yes If you have an accelerator, you will have to do it Well guys, uh, you can check out the phone numbers from Bolo. this board uh, They is also have a website Tata. You can check out uh. the website also well, this particular region has got plenty of campsites and camps where you can and nature resorts where you can stay. It's a pretty luxurious point with lots of dhabas, eateries, and everything. This particular uh, point is called Gemur. So, Gemur is the name of the place. It's around. Uh, 5 kilometers from Jispa. So guys, this is the Darcha check post Hello. where you find uh, a bifurcation. Hello. This is the point where the network goes off. BSNL and Geo will work at certain places, not always. Continue for 44 kilometers. There you care. You can see Padum is 143, Shankula is 39. Sankula Pass is approximately 14 kilometers from here. So this road is very smooth actually. And this region is super smooth.
on the left hand side <laughs> so guys we have reached the Shrinkula pass there's a cafe out here Shinkula to Gombo Granjan is actually uh, 25 kilometers approximately. I'm not sure of that, but it seems that we have reached halfway. The tents that you can see on the right hand side are uh, for the road workers, and this is actually the riverbed that I'm driving on. To engage the 4x4 for a little bit to come up to this uh, level because of the sand. There's a lot of sand around. Best last of all, you need So friends, we have reached the camping site for Gombok Ranjan. Here is the Gombok Ranjan and here is the camp. Uh, we have placed our vehicle in such a way so that the wind that comes from this side doesn't hit us because it's extremely cold. It's the temperature is not that low, but the strong breeze is making the issue. See, we are putting up the tent in such a way so that the car helps us in protecting the breeze. And the site selection has been very strategic. It is Acho Camping and Restaurant. You have a phone number as well which you can uh, use it for bookings these are the camps actually it is 1500 to 2000 rupees as the season demands each tent swiss tent has got uh, three beds along with a toilet <laughs> so today's dinner is uh, Egg chow mein and uh, chicken north north chicken soup 
it was been it has been a very hectic day my body is paining because of the drive and also the lot of shoots that has been done today you can uh, see the glimpse of them tomorrow uh, we'll be moving to Pukhtar monastery with a trek of 2.5 hours each on the up and down that is 5 hours let's see uh, if we remain fit if i remain fit i'll go till then good night to everybody and stay well